Hey guys, good morning. So it's 521 in the morning. It is the day of my surgery. Um, I just finished washing my hair and my face. Um, I'm not supposed to put anything in my hair or like on my skin at all. So I'm literally pretty much just done. I'm about to wait for my parents to wake up. Um, my mom and my dad are actually going to drive me to the West LA Kaiser um, offices and my uh, surgery appointment is at 6.30. I am really excited. Um, I'm surprisingly not nervous, but I kind of have been mentally prepared for this. I've literally been waiting for this for a long time. Um, I was actually supposed to get this the beginning of the year, but with COVID and whatnot, um, kind of delayed that a bit. Gonna try to get and capture as much footage as I can at the hospital, but I don't know what I will be able to film just because I really wasn't able to film a lot when I was in the um, doctor's office. So we'll see if I'm even gonna be able to have my phone, but for sure after if anything i will for sure be filming I'm gonna go rinse out this conditioner out of my hair and <clears throat> i will see you guys later <laughs> Always here when I get stuff done. I feel like I put her through a bunch of shit. <laughs> um, we are trying to find our room. We're a little behind, so I'm not trying to really film too much right now. But um, I'm here at the hospital. So. Um, So I'm vlogging for my sister because I know she'd want that and I'm just waiting for her. Do you know which way she's going to come out of? Urgent care? Oh. Okay, got it. Still waiting, still waiting. I'm excited to see her actually. <laughs> I wonder if her face is gonna hurt because it's gonna be bumpy on the road. Well, she won't be able to feel her face, no? Because the nerves? She won't be able to feel her face because of the nerves, no? So she might not feel anything. Oh my god. She looks like all bandaged up. Oh my god. <laughs> Me and my mom just looked at each other and went, e. Oh, here she comes. Uh, oh my god. The blanket. <sighs> Holy moly. See? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring my Okay, Lower your head a little. That's good. Do you want to 
The doctor literally called my sister a he right now, but like whatever, and I didn't record it. <laughs> like my face doesn't even hurt. It's just like Dude, you look good. You don't even look swollen. No. No, you look great. Oh, she is cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, duh. Yeah. I was like, uh, I know she's gonna want yeah, me to film. Business. It's showbiz, baby. Yeah, stall. I'm gonna close the door, okay? Okay. Go. Yikes. I don't think you should close your eyes. No? It's not a good thing when you're nauseous. You want to look outside and feel alive. I really want a kombucha. Just breathe. Can you drink a kombucha? Yeah, the, the, the one that we just had sounds so good. I was like, what do I they? Want yeah, it. do they have? Oh, I should have brought you. I'm gonna have to drink out of a straw. Yeah. My lips probably look swollen again. They do. It looks like you just got them right. Uh, <laughs> can you even see? I know. Stop talking, dude. Okay, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Because you look like a cute little garlic bulb. You look like an onion. Of course, everyone's making fun of her. Excuse me, video on for coming through. <laughs> you want to lay down or sit down? Can you take these? Oh. Take the blanket under it's out invisible. so she has a blanket. Yeah. Can you breathe through your nose? Yeah. Is it hard? No. Yeah. I look stressful as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Why is your body not movable? Because she's just been asleep for nine hours. Well, wake up. That's how you look. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Where's Karen? Yeah, she saw you. She said your nose looks really good. I'm tired of coming over here. Oh my god. I know. You took a picture of my glass. No. No. <laughs> You're a superstar. <laughs> I didn't mean to ignore you. I just was like, oh no, 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 don't worry about it. I don't even know how you're up and talking. <laughs> I know. Aren't you cold? That no, part thing. I know. Say try. I like that shirt. <laughs> hey, we just passed that shop. The <laughs> tapas? No. That ah ah feel, that nose though. I feel like I was talking normal when I was there, and now all of a sudden I feel like my throat feels like. <clears throat> Maybe you need more medicine. It's wearing off. <laughs> yeah, no, I would, no, I would yeah, you no. should. Did they tell you to drink water? Or no? <laughs> I could drink anything now. Your nose looks really good. How long have you been mm -hmm. up for? It's like beautiful. It's like lifted. Huh? I don't know. Yippee! I like 
Less than two hours. Mom, I covered the hole for a reason. Yeah. I don't know why my nose is bleeding. Because you got a nose job, uh, duh. No, but this is... Is your face was open? <laughs> 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 no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a creepy <laughs> ass laugh but but it's a laugh you know making fun about it the whole time thank you so because it hurts so bad right here like it feels like i was working out for hours It is day one of post-op, um, it's the 27th, it's like, I want to say to 11 o'clock. Um, it was really hard to sleep last night because I had to like sleep sitting up, so it's kind of like uncomfortable. It's not kind of like, it is fucking uncomfortable. And my face like swole, swelled up, swelled up, swelled up <laughs> so much and... My eyes are barely, like, slightly open now, and my mouth is, like, really, um, tight as well, and I can barely talk, because I can't really open my mouth too wide, and it's surprisingly I'm not in any pain, this is just really uncomfortable, like, not being able to, like, fully open your mouth, or, like, open your eyes, but at least I'm not in pain. My neck is really stiff. Because I'm like sleeping, sitting up. My back hurts. Um, but other than that, I'm like so happy that I got this done. And I just can't wait for all the swelling to go down. And I'm just really grateful for my parents and my family. They were all here last night um, when I got home. My brother Sebastian came to come visit me and Karen too. And I was really happy to see that. I can breathe through my nose, which is really surprising too, since uh, my nose is done. But I can make out like what my face is possibly gonna look like. And it just keeps me like motivated. Like pushing forward because this is really like a shitty. And I don't want to cry because my nose and everything. I don't want to fuck anything up, but it makes me really emotional. I keep trying to go back to sleep so that I could just like sleep off the first couple of days because they're supposed to be the worst. But just wanted to update you guys on my first day. Um, I haven't ate anything since the day before yesterday, and I honestly am not very hungry. My arms are super swollen for some reason, and they're really sore and they hurt, and it's kind of hard to hold up the phone right now. I can feel all the stitches in my mouth. They're dissolvable, so they'll slowly start going away. But, again, I'm good. And I'm really happy. Hey, Ali Berry. Hi. You look great. I'm swollen as fuck. Yeah, you're, but it's really not as bad as I really thought. Still, Damn, you're but your eyes look pretty swollen. <laughs> but it's cool because it looks like I have eyeshadow on. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at yourself in the light. Where, where, are, you, where are you going? I'm gonna go in the living room. So I can okay. Oh, my neck hurts and my back hurts from being right there. Ugh. I was crying a little bit. Hi. Happy? Yeah. Good. Happy crying. Let's just cover that hole in the wall. <laughs> you look so skinny. 
<laughs> Today has been one of the hardest days I think I ever have experienced in my life. I can barely open my eyes, I can barely open my mouth, I can't fucking breathe. I'm not in pain, but I just am like so uncomfortable. It's like insane. And I literally would not wish this on anybody. Like, this is seriously the worst. But I'm like trying to focus on all the positive. And I know that. I'm doing this for a reason, but it still is like really frustrating. I was like crying earlier because I couldn't like, it was just really frustrating and it's just really hard. And it's only day one. But I know that the first couple of days are always the worst. And my face just keeps getting more and more swollen. Like this is literally me opening my eyes. And like trying to like go to sleep, but I can't even stay asleep long enough. I like literally wake up because I'm just so uncomfortable. And I, I'm probably going to go get some melatonin so that at least I could stay asleep a little bit longer. I'm just constantly going to be updating because I feel like every, every hour or so things just change so drastically. But I'm hoping tomorrow's a lot better. I hope today's the worst that it's gonna get because this freaking sucks so bad. This literally sucks. It's day two and this has been the two hardest days of my life. I had to go to emergency last night because I was having such bad body aches and I had called the nurse advice center for Kaiser to ask if I could take melatonin with my Norcos and they were asking me a series of questions. And some of the questions, I guess I answered that to where they were a little concerned. So they recommended I go to an emergency and I'm glad I did. They actually were telling me that my muscle was deteriorating and it was starting to create all this fluid and that's why my arms are all swollen. Or so on, so on, you can kind of tell a little bit more. It's gone down a little bit, but my arms are usually not swollen. And my body was really achy and I had a little tightness in my chest. They kept me overnight in emergency and they were just running a bunch of tests. They did a CAT scan. They did an x-ray, they did blood work, they even did an ultrasound to make sure I didn't have any blood clots. Um, everything seemed to be good, but I'm seriously the most swollen I think I have been. So hopefully this is just as bad as it's gonna get, cause it's so uncomfortable. 
I literally just don't know what to do anymore. It's so annoying that my eyes are barely open. My mouth is barely open. I can't breathe through my nose, so I have to breathe through my mouth, and my mouth gets dry. I don't really have an appetite, so I have to force myself to eat. But this is day two. I had my phone while I was at emergency, but it died soon after arriving, and I didn't have a charger, so I couldn't really record anything. But I honestly was really too drugged up. I got morphine like three times. This other painkiller called Trapa something didn't do anything. And then they gave me Norco and melatonin, but none of it was able to help me fall asleep. I literally would knock out for a little bit and then I'd be up again really hard to sleep mm -hmm. yeah I'm talking on the camera oh. but I hope that this goes away soon Myself. I know this is going to be worth it at the end, though. But this is just a lot of things I didn't think I had to go through. Luckily, I have my family, and they are really good to me. But it's still really stressful. It's day three. <laughs> And I can like slightly open my eyes now, which is a plus. But my sister's gonna help me remove the bandages in a second so that we can wash my hair. I was actually able to sleep a little bit better last night. The first couple of nights were like horrible. I was like waking up every so often because it was just so uncomfortable. But my body is doing a lot better too. Um, I had to go to the emergency room on, like, the first day, I think, because, um, my body actually had gone through so much trauma that my, uh, muscles started to break down and they created some fluid that started to swell my, mostly my arms, but I started to get swollen and have a lot of body ache. So that was really uncomfortable and that was partly, partly why I couldn't sleep. So I went to the emergency room and they flushed everything out um, with IV fluids. They did a CAT scan, an ultrasound. They ran like three blood tests. Um, I don't know what the technical term for what happened to me was called, but I know that my levels are at like 4,000 and a normal level is at 400, so you could just imagine. Um, the swelling is still pretty intense, but like I said, I can actually like see my eyes, so that's like exciting. Um, I just took one of my Norcos so that Washing my hair could be a little bit more comfortable. Um, I need something to drink. Since I really haven't any, any like solid foods, I'll probably make a protein shake after this. But I'm excited to get this off. I feel like it'll definitely help with the swelling. Um. I think my face has no other choice but to like squeeze out through this little center hole because it's just being so compressed. So I think relieving it is going to help kind of at least evenly swell up and eventually go down. So 
I have this compression mask. I don't even know if it's called a compression mask. But that's gonna be an aim. She's cute. There's a facial plastic garment. Jaw bra. It's a jaw bra. I don't wear no bras, but my jaw is going to wear one. It's hard to like wipe your eyes. My eyes get really watery. This has been really hard, you guys. I cannot stress that enough. Like, I totally didn't think that it was gonna be this hard. I know that I'm a strong person though, and I'm gonna get through this, and I just keep focusing on the end. At least by a month, I'll be good. Um, but I'm just taking every day at a time, making sure I get a lot of rest, and drinking a lot of fluids. I've been taking melatonin, but that doesn't really help either. I got like two hours of sleep, not even. Like I woke up 10 in the shorts of two hours earlier when I took a normal dose, which was four milliliters. Uh, with the Norcos, I could go to sleep a lot longer though. Uh, maybe like three to four hours. I'll probably go to sleep after I get my hair washed, honestly. But this is just a waiting game at this point. I made some, like, supposed to be, like, coffee, but there's, like, ashwagandha and some other mushrooms in it. It's supposed to be really good for your immune system. I don't know if I'm considered vegan anymore because I took collagen. And I didn't realize that collagen is made out of animals. But it didn't say anything in the ingredients, so I just assumed it was okay. But I think right now I need those things more than anything. So definitely not eating meat, but definitely going to take collagen. So that my skin heals really well. I have to constantly stretch my arms because they're just so sore. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just gonna get to taken off in a second. I like instantly can read so much better. Oh, my chin looks so good. I honestly can't even see myself right now, so it feels so nice so to not have this on anymore. I can see my chin through the front of my phone and it looks so pretty. Probably not. It's not as bad as you think. I'm gonna go um, wash my hair, but this is pretty much the incision comes back. I'm assuming because yeah. You wash my hands, or actually, we're gonna go. Yeah, look at it. Okay. It's not that bad. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Look how pretty. Mm -hmm. Aww. I have a little pointy wow. chin. Yeah. Oh my god, you look so femme! Look at those eyebrows! Bien apostados. Uh huh. I got them laminated. I was gonna say, <laughs> that laminated brow. We're just washing Ale's hair right now. What's your... oh. You want to put it in my hand? 
put it on the end. Okay. Uh, and then shampoo on the roots. Got it. Ah, mm. uh, not kissing my cat again. You kissed her. Yeah, on her nose, and we made look at that. You're a lesbian. <laughs> this table seems kid. like it's cutting off. It's like halfway on. Here. Ew, don't touch it so hard. Well, they could you that hard to get in there and see all I can. I mean, just don't rub it. Do I put all of it? Yeah, I do all of it. I'm just gonna focus this on the front. Right. <sighs> Dude, your forehead looks weird. Why? Not weird, ugly, but I mean, like weird right now because it's swollen where your eyes are at, but it's so flat. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see. I can't wait to try. It's just like fully not so mm -hmm. Did you have any more moments of rigor? No. Oh, your ears were bleeding or something. Yeah, I could feel it. Here, I'm gonna On the out. inside of my ear? Right here. I think it's from the incision back here. Ah, probably. No. Are you pulling on my hair right here? No. Uh -huh. mm. Day four, and I was just getting a little emotional because it's just such a hard process. Like, you guys have no idea. And just like looking at yourself in the mirror and just like not knowing what you're going to look like. Although, like, I can start to make out like what I should expect but it's just really hard and it's a lot a lot of mental like just draining and I hate having to rely on people and I feel like this has been one of those times where I need the people the most but Every day it's getting easier. One thing that I learned from this experience is to not take anything for granted. Like simply eating or being able to see, being able to talk or like move your body. Like we complain so much and it's like crazy because like when you don't have those things you don't realize how much you need it and it's like kind of obvious but it's like it's shitty dude and yeah just like appreciate everything all the simple things and no money n nothing materialistic can ever like make up for those things your family, your friends, those things are like so irreplaceable and some of us just like look past those things and we think that they're going to be there all the time but they're not always going to be there so definitely take advantage of all that stuff and your health especially. That's like number one. But I'm gonna get off of here because I'm just like <laughs> ranting, I think, at this point. And I haven't even taken my drugs, and I don't think I will because I'm fine. I'm like seriously in no pain. Like, I just am uncomfortable. My body's uncomfortable from laying down so long and I'm so active and that just really like bugs me. I can't go be with my dog or like pick up my cat because my arms hurt. I just really can't do much besides try to heal. My body feels so rusty and I can't wait to go do yoga in the sun. I don't know why it gets so emotional. <sighs> the 
plus two, all of this is I lost like almost 10 pounds because <laughs> I'm on like a liquid diet. So all these modeling agencies better be ready because she's going to be fucking hot as fuck. And don't mind this hole behind me. <laughs> My sister punched a hole in the wall one time. That's why I choose not to have a boyfriend. <laughs> I'd probably be punching holes in walls too. Um, I actually had pictures covering it up, but so I could lay down here, I took them off so I could rest my head. But anyways, I'm gonna go ice my face now. I'm currently at my post-op appointment, which was supposed to be on the first, but I'm here two days earlier. It's the 30th. Um, I'm about to be seen by Dr. Vine Raw, um, which was a surgeon. Um, technically, I'm supposed to have my stitches removed, but because I'm here a little bit early, we're probably just gonna look over and see how I'm doing. Um, he should be here shortly, but I'm feeling good. And I'm just gonna ask him a few questions that I have concerning um, this, my process and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm here um, at Kaiser, getting my post-op, um, getting checked up on, um, it's been five days. I honestly feel like the first couple days were like so slow. And, I, and these past couple days have been a lot easier, but I'm happy to be here and just be able to be seen um, just so that he can answer any of my concerns. Um, probably gonna go get like a juice or something after. I try to eat a little bit this morning. He'll be here shortly, so um, I'll let you guys know what he says and how everything goes after my appointment. Um, everything seems to be good. The nurses just looked at me, so they were saying that I look pretty good. So, big thumbs up. And I am looking forward to completely healing and just like not being so swollen. Just really uncomfortable. But I'll catch you guys later. So they're actually going to take off my stitches and they just took off my little nose casting. Hey guys, it's day five post-op from my FFS surgery. I honestly haven't felt much progress from yesterday sorry my lips are so huge that like sometimes spit just like comes out like without me knowing I feel like a big baby it is trans day of visibility and this day is meant to bring awareness and also just celebrate all the people who have made a big difference in our community i honestly try to be visible every day oh, i hear my dog here he comes um but i honestly try to live true to myself and try to be very open and genuine as you can see i honestly am here sitting in front of you with this swollen ass face like i just really feel like this is so important for the public to see this experience has helped me and my confidence because i feel like i am regaining my power and i am putting myself out there for people to see and this is just such a beneficial phase in some trans people's lives and there is many things that are trying to keep us from that and that's why we have days like this so that we can help bring awareness to those issues um but i wanted to come on here like i said to just share my progress let you guys know how i feel 
but you guys know how I'm doing and I'm doing amazing. I feel so much better today than I have. Um, sleeping has still not been easy for me. I definitely am super anxious to just finish this, but I'm trying to enjoy the process as much as possible. Although, I mean, I'm just at in such a vulnerable state. I'm like sitting here looking like a scrub with this like dirty t-shirt, hair's a mess, face swollen, and yeah, I just wanna let you guys know that everything's gonna be good. And I just got back from grabbing a few things from Sprouts. I'm like trying to eat an avocado and it's kind of like not working out. I ordered Indian food, um, which if you've ever had Indian food before, a lot of their food is kind of like soft. So I'm not able to really eat anything um, or chew really because I have like stitches all along the inside of my bottom jaw or my bottom gums. Tomorrow we'll make my FFS post-op surgery about a week. Um, my lips are obviously just want to be huge. So we're going to let them. And no judgment, but I think it's crazy that some people actually get their lips this huge. Because it's like so hard to do anything. But anyways, I um, feel amazing. feel a lot better having a little bit of stomach issues but I think it's probably because I haven't really had a good solid meal in almost about a week and I'm like constantly taking pills um whether they're my hormone replacement therapy pills or pain medication I'm not on Norco's I've been taking Tylenol and my antibiotics to help with any infections um I have been feeling a little bit down today like emotionally and it does partly have to do with the way I am looking I'm not gonna lie um at first I was definitely like holy fuck like what did I do and I have a really amazing friend by the name of Nova and she just recently went through the same procedures which I recently posted her on my stories but I'll go ahead and tag her so you guys could check her out um she just kind of helped reaffirm that i just need to be patient pretty much but i've never even broken a finger or have had any type of surgery let alone a really major one like this one so uh, i just expected instant gratification and it just doesn't work like that because if i really think about it like they literally peeled my forehead down my lip down so that they could get in here get in here did my nose like i don't know i just totally was like i don't know just really not irrational thinking right now so um but yeah i feel like i look like a potato let me say that again because you probably couldn't understand what i was saying i literally feel like i look like a potato and if you guys have ever seen those little funny looking fishes that you've probably seen on the internet they have like a little nose and they look like those like deep sea like weird creature fishes i feel like i look like one of those and hopefully in five six weeks which is what nova told me um is when you will start kind of slowly start seeing your old self again i don't want to see my old old self but i definitely want to look and resemble what i somewhat used to look like i don't want to look like a completely different person i just want to look like myself if i didn't go through um my male puberty so that's what this surgery is meant to do is meant to soften and like feminize your face so um i just wanted to like i said come on here real quick touch up on what's been going on with me today surgery is meant to do is meant to soften and like feminize your face so um i just wanted to like i said come on here real quick touch up on what's been going on with me today um and yeah patience is a virtue and so are huge lips and also, I just want to thank Nova for ordering me this pillow. It literally has been, like, such a blessing. 
my neck thing. Hey guys, so I just wanted to jump on here before the day ends and share with you my progress on day seven of my FFS post-op. So I wanted to also show you guys actually with this thing off because I think I've been wearing it every time I share my progress and this kind of makes things look a little bit better. Um, but as you guys can tell, it almost looks like I have an underbite because this is still so swollen. But this had a little bit more of an intense like process to, to get it to where it needs to be because I had to detach all the muscle from my bone. So this is taking a little bit longer to heal and it's still really swollen like my bottom lip. But we're getting there. It's looking good. I'm starting to like slowly but surely recognize myself again and I'm starting to like love what I'm seeing and I just really can't wait for it to completely be healed. I just took my first first body shower after getting surgery which sounds really gross but at my house we're actually remodeling the bathroom so I had to go and take a shower at my friend Joseph's house so thank you so much Joseph you're so sweet and if you guys don't know Joseph I'm sure you do because I post him on here all the time um, but if you don't know Joseph, his name is at Mess We Trust on here, and I'll go ahead and tag him. He's a very talented drag queen, makeup artist, fucking, he does a bunch of shit. Go check him out. Um, but thank you for letting me shower. Um, and yeah, I know, I have facial hair. Crazy, right? Um, but yeah, I really need a shave, but for what? You know? But, um, yeah. Good night, everyone. Just wanted to share that before I knock the fuck out.